What's up, everybody? She's all cleaned off. Super sex. Sorry, got some killer wax. So, I took out the seats out of the K. Um, they're the uh, Mugen SI seats, the 2009, 2007, 2009, or some shit. They're back there. I'll, I'll show them to you in a minute. <coughs> or you guys might have seen them in the car already. But I took out that, I took out the shifter, as you can see back there, sitting up there. Uh, Cause I was gonna put the, the shifter that's, that that is for the H, or that came in the hatchback. Let me get it, hold on. <sighs> Sorry guys, I should've already had this shit set up, but I'm fucking, I'm stoned back in. I'm stoned back in. So, this is the shifter that came in the car. <coughs> this is the H um, Prelude stock shifter, I guess, shifter box. You cut the hole in the bottom or whatnot, and then this whole thing. So, I got to cut a hole in this for this. So, I may just use this stock one and just make it look all stock. That's what I was thinking. You guys let me know what you think. I was thinking, just put this one back in the hatchback, put that one back in here, leave it in here, because, you know, uh, this one is going to be the show car and whatnot, should have that. This is going to be stock daily. I don't want to draw no attention to it. The only attention it's really going to have is the rims on it. You know, I'm only going to put the rims on it from here, because these are going to have, I'm going to take the Federals off of these tires and put them on the... I have uh, other rims, other race rims that I was using too. A black one and a red one. I'm going to just paint purple. Um, <clears throat> two race rims that I already had. So I'm going to put those on there with. I already got the stocks, the small 13s or whatnot on the back. So just put that on there. But anyway, uh, I should just put this back in the hatch and then put the regular stock cover back over it, boom. So it just looks stock, so it's just regular stock. This looks like a stock, it's just gonna have H22 in it. You know, H20 A Euro R, I have 200 horsepower. So, you know, it's not really gonna be stock, but uh, the appeal like to the eye, to the naked eye, somebody looks in it, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, nice seats. You know, everything else is pretty much standard, unless you pop the hood, you know. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but you guys comment down below. Let me know what you think um, I did clean off the case so you guys could check it out the nitrous bottle I'll take out of the back, you know, but I mean I can't wait to get this fucking thing. I'm taking it to PFI guys. I'm gonna take it to PFI. I'm gonna get this damn thing Watch I'm gonna get the pro manifold like the skunk 2 pro I have for the H here I'm gonna get the pro manifolds for this and that's all that's missing. The manifold in the tune. I have the injectors. I have everything else. Everything else. I, you guys already know. You guys been on the channel. It's fucking. For those of you who already know, it's already, you know, you guys know it's, it's been built for a minute. This has been over a year of just anticipation. It's just been waiting for a tune and shit, you know. And, you know, like I explained to <clears throat> some of the guys, not to rant and whatnot, but, you know. I don't know who some of these guys take their cars to, you know, some of these guys have guys that are legitimate, you know, uh, uh, you know, like, uh, uh, PFI is legitimate shit like that. Like, so I'm going to take my car to PFI, you know, uh, some of these guys like Z Josh and I don't know who they take their cars to get their cars done and shit and whatnot. They don't last very long. So, you know, my advice to you is don't rush, man. That's why this has been a year in the making. It's been over a year in the making. You guys know who's been on the channel. I've been building the motor for a year. And then this motherfucker's been sitting for like eight, nine months already. So, I mean, call it a year. We round up in this bitch. So, yeah, like, you know, look how long it's taking me to get my daily going. It's been 
I said I was going to build a D-series, and then I tried to put a D-series in there, come find out the mount's all fucked up, so I got to put an A-series in it, and now I had to save up to get the money to get an A-series and shit, and if it wasn't for my backbone, my wife, you know what I'm saying, like, if it wasn't for her, and her support, and her helping me with, you know, everything all the time, like, this shit ain't alone, this ain't by myself, this, all that money and shit, you know, I make money too, but that's, it's not, it's not as much as, it's not what, 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 you know, it's a joint effort. I can't, I fight, it would take me a hell of a lot longer if I was by myself trying to do this shit. It's a lot, it's a lot. So, don't, don't rush my advice to you guys, it is, is the point. Sorry if you hear my kids in there, they're, they're fucking, they've been bottled up for like a minute, dude, so we're gonna take them out for a while, get them out, man, like get rid of, I'm gonna bust you. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, you guys, I bet some of you guys know how I'm talking, what I'm talking about. If you got kids and shit, I got two of them, a four-year-old and a ten-year-old. So, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, just take your time, man. Don't don't fuck what everybody else got to say. Don't worry about what people got to say. I'm the last person that gives a shit about what anybody has to say. Listen, if you don't pay my bills and you don't help me with shit, you ain't got shit to say about nothing I do. Period. So, anyway, um, <clears throat> take your time. We're going to get this motherfucker right. Watch. And then, for all the motherfuckers... Period. That's how I do my talk. Period. I don't talk. I, I walk. <laughs> shit. So, uh, we're going to put this back in the hatch. I just want to do an update video on y'all and the coronavirus and all this shit, man. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I ain't trying to get into no politics or no debate or no shit like that. But, you know, me personally, I ain't going out and doing shit because I'm 33 years old. I got, like I said, two kids and a wife. My wife is 34, 35. Um, yeah, we don't... Uh, whether it's old people, young people, fucking middle-aged people, don't matter. Like, stay the fuck at home and just relax. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're a bunch of rebellious motherfuckers in the U.S. Like, when they tell us to, like, all anybody ever wants to do is take a vacation. When they're working hard as fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait till I get my vacation. Oh, I'm going to get a vacation. When they tell you to take a fucking vacation... All you don't want to do is take a vacation. You want to get out and start doing shit. Oh, this is bullshit. Listen, they said sit the fuck down and stay at home. <laughs> so do that and stay safe. All, all y'all just listen and stay the fuck safe. That's just, just listen. That's all it is. We tell our kids, just listen, just listen, just listen. You know, when it's over, it's over. It's not like that big a deal. Shit. I, I haven't been able to lift a fucking weight in forever. It, it feels like forever, and it's only been almost a month. It feels like forever. It's the longest I've taken off from lifting heavy weights. I'm fucking fiending so bad. I want to lift something heavy so bad. I've been lifting fucking the K-Series block that I got back there. I've been just out in the backyard doing weeds and shit. <clears throat> I've been lifting my 25-pound kettlebell. I got a set of 50-pound dumbbells that are coming right now uh, from China, by the way. Like, damn, man. U.S. people have been upselling the fuck out of everything. This is ridiculous. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Look at me. Come on. Don't try to rip people off. I paid $5 the other day for a case of water. A fucking 25 pack of water. Five bucks. Those should go for like two bucks. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> so fuck, man. People are <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, anyway... Hope everybody stays safe. I ain't trying to preach. I love all of you. I appreciate you for watching. And until I make another video, which will be, uh, I got the mount coming uh, for the H, the post mount. I found it, just ordered it from um, Swap Streets, Swap Racing, SSR or some shit in California. Anyway, it was 70 bucks. Picked up the fucking thing, put the, got the damn, 
I got the damn covers. It's the top, and this is the bottom, obviously. Covers. So, uh, put the H in the hatch. You know, get all the shit ready. Put the seats in it. You know, I got the exhaust. Get the center, and uh, get the daily going. So, um, I'll you know update you guys with that, and then you know after that we'll be off to PFI after all this bullshit's um, done and over with. Because again, you know, everybody claims to be the best tuner, but what from what I've seen, PFI puts love into their shit. So shout out to PFI if you watch this. Uh, share it with them or whatever if you know them bro i'm one i'm a big believer in you guys uh you guys are like the fucking shit love your videos so i'm gonna bring this motherfucking monster to you of course all put together and uh yeah we gonna get it cracking i'm gonna get my yeah i'm gonna get my 400 to the wheels even if i gotta put m5 in this motherfucker Without the 100 shot. And then the 100 shot on top of that. So we want 500. So fuck that original 400 to the all motor. 400 all motor, yes. But we want 500 on the bottom. You know what I'm saying? 500 monster. 1800 pound monster. So I can come and hit the streets near you soon. Check it. Later. Peace.